pressure differential systems. The stack effect and airflow resistance effects on pressure distribution in vertical escape routes. Europe lies within the moderate climate zone, which exhibits large variation in atmospheric conditions throughout the year. In winter, buildings are heated, and the temperature inside is significantly above that of the outside air. Air temperature is closely related to its density. The higher the temperature, the lower the density. On the other hand, differences in density significantly affect pressure distribution in buildings. In winter, ambient air gets into the stairwell, and because of buoyancy, it rises, causing a differentiation in pressure inside its volume. If the stairwell is not airtight, a window or doors are open at the building entrance level, the stack effect will always occur if there is a difference in the air temperature between the stairwell and outside. If the stairwell is located in the interior of the building and not connected with the atmosphere, the stack effect will occur immediately once pressurization begins, if the air supplied will be of a different temperature than the air inside the stairwell. Due to the significant heat capacity of the stairwell structure, even long-term pressurization will not eliminate the occurrence of the stack effect. On the other hand, in summer, the hot air from outside seeps in through fissures into the stairwell, cools down and falls, resulting in a pressure distribution opposite to that which can be observed in winter. If the building incorporates a Class A solution, in accordance with the EN 121016 standard requiring small amounts of air, then supplying the stairwell with air at the same temperature as the air inside the stairwell, it is possible to maintain the required pressure of 50 Pascal within its interior. However, if for that same system, air is supplied to the stairwell at a temperature significantly below that of the inside, then pressure gradient will occur as a result of the stack effect. The stack effect occurs due to the heating up of air particles by walls and stairs. The amount of heat dissipated by the walls is proportional to the difference in temperature between the air and the partitions. For example, if the temperature difference is 20 degrees, the walls may dissipate up to 140 watts from every square meter, as a result of which air density falls, causing buoyancy to push it upwards. We are not talking about serious stairwell heat loss during evacuation, as its accumulated heat amounts are vast. As an example, to heat one cubic meter of air by 10 degrees in 10 minutes, it should be heated with a 22 watt energy stream. In order to reduce the temperature of one cubic meter of concrete by 10 degrees in the same amount of time, roughly 34,000 watts of cooling power would have to be provided, which is 1,550 times as much. Consequently, air pressure rises in the upper parts of the stairwell. The excessive pressure rise in the upper parts of the stairwell causes the barometric overpressure dampers to open in during their job of maintaining pressure at no more than 50 Pascal. The cut-off dampers only restrict pressure locally in the upper parts of the stairwell. Overpressure in the remaining parts is not controlled in any way and may fall to below the required minimum. If the building incorporates a Class B solution in accordance with the EN 121016 standard requiring large amounts of air, then injecting the stairwell with air at the same temperature as the air inside the stairwell would initially cause a violent pressure spike along the entire height. The excessive pressure rise causes the barometric overpressure damper to open in doing its job of maintaining overpressure in the upper parts of the stairwell at 50 Pascal. The flow of large amounts of air causes resistance, similar to normal ventilation ducts. Due to the resistance in the lower sections of the stairwell, overpressure exceeds the allowable value, which may make evacuation impossible. 
However, if in this case air is supplied to the stairwell at a temperature significantly below that of the inside, then pressure stratification will occur as a result of the stack effect. The supply of large amounts of air causes a rapid increase in the pressure. However, the increase will not be uniform across the entire height of the stairwell. The stack effect will disturb its distribution. A pressure increase in the upper parts of the stairwell causes the barometric overpressure dampers to open in doing their job of maintaining pressure at no more than 50 pascal. Once the barometric overpressure dampers open, pressure in the entire stairwell changes and its value is equal to the resultant of the flow resistances which is relative to the size of the airstream and the stack effect. Regardless of the required PDS, Pressure Differential System class, SMAI suggests using the Safety Way Pressure Differential System. The basic version of the system comprises of two reversible flow fans located at the extreme floors of the stairwell. The fans work in opposite directions. When one delivers air to the stairwell, the other extracts it. The fans are equipped with motorized air dampers operating as pressure controllers and a regulation automation system. The idea behind such a system is the creation of a volume inside the stairwell of controlled airflow at a controlled intensity, resulting in a stable distribution of static pressure across the entire stairwell. If there is no temperature difference between the internal and external air, then one of the fans supplies a small amount of air to the stairwell needed for the required 50 pascal, and the other one is cut off by a closed regulatory damper. If doors are opened and pressure inside the stairwell drops, then the fan will increase the air supply rate supplied to the stairwell. Once the doors are shut, the system returns to observing the pressure criterion and supplies an amount of air needed to counteract the stack effect and airflow resistance. If the external air pressure is below the temperature inside the stairwell, then the system works in the same direction as in the event of no difference in temperatures. In other words, the bottom fan supplies air and the top fan works as an extractor and activates when 50 pascal are exceeded. Supplying the stairwell with external air, the stack effect will occur within its volume, causing temporary negative pressure in the lower sections. The pressure drop causes the bottom fan to supply more and more air, aiming to maintain 50 pascal in the lower section and causing a pressure increase in the entire stairwell. The excessive pressure increase in the upper part of the stairwell acts as the signal opening the dampers by the upper fan, which removes the excess air. The job of the fan is to maintain 50 pascal in the upper part of the stairwell. Due to the use of the safety way system, we achieve a stable distribution of static pressure across the entire stairwell under the stack effect conditions through an accurate control of air streams, supplied and extracted, and the accompanying airflow resistance. If doors are opened and pressure drops, then the fan will increase the stream of air supplied to the stairwell. Once the doors are shut, the system returns to observing the pressure criterion and supplies an amount of air needed to counteract the stack effect and flow resistance. For stairwells in buildings which are more than 35 meters tall, an additional air supply point is required every 10 floors. The air supply to the stairwell is activated automatically once pressure drops below a preset value, which may be caused by leaks and opened emergency exits. Safety Way System Advantages the system prevents smoke in form infiltrating vertical escape routes in the event of a fire in residential, office and industrial buildings, regardless of how tall they are, the time of year, temperature differences or the wind forces influence. The solution is supplied as a complete system, optimized for the use in a given building. This is an active solution, allowing for simple adjustments of settings, monitoring the current operational parameters as well as automatic adjustment to the rapidly changing parameters such as air temperature or wind.